We got nine o'clock. I'm gonna go ahead and call meeting order. Start with pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Good morning. Next is approval of today's agenda. I make a motion to approve today's agenda. I'll second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next is approval of minutes of 7 10 2024. Make a motion to approve. I'll second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Next is approval of claims for payment of 7 17 2024. Make a motion to approve. I'll second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Now I have is consideration to approve the Hardin County Written Hazard Communication Program. Okay, I'll make a motion to approve the Hardin County um, Written Hazard Communication Program. I will second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next is consideration to approve the application for the use of the courthouse grounds for the Bible reading marathon. This will be on 8 8 2024, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. I'll make a motion to approve. I will second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next is consideration to approve utility permit UT 24. 016 Interstate Power and Light. Make a motion to approve. I will second. And move and second any discussion. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next is consideration to approve the renewal of the 2014 employee health plan policy and update rates on application. I will make a motion to approve. I will second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next I have is consideration to approve the appointment of the VA commissioner. Don has sent us a letter. They had four candidates. Uh, he unanimously picked one of the four. He was an Air Force veteran. His name was Maxwell Lehman. I would make a motion to approve Maxwell Lehman as a VA commissioner. I will second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Did I pronounce his last name correct? You did. Okay. Um, any other discussion? Don wrote a really nice letter on it. He had four very nice candidates. Good. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we are able to fulfill that new obligation of the state code. So that's good news. Yeah. Which which was you got to have one from each service area. Yep. Yep. Um, any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Now I have this consideration to approve the Harding County Veterans Affairs to lease a van through the VA Health. Can you give us a highlight on this? Yeah, yeah. So our van right now, what we have is a 2014, which was donated. Um, and <clears throat> it's showing its age and needs to be replaced. We consider replacing it by trying to get another van donated, but the vans are, I mean, like $65,000 to quit. And so I learned about this program through VA Healthcare and the DAB. Uh, we lease a van through them. It's $3,000 a year. And then they take on the responsibility of insurance, gas, and maintenance. So at the end of the day, we're going to be saving money as a county. That answered my question. Yeah. Gosh. Substantial like money, point. honestly, because you won't have to insure it, maintain it, or pay for we it. just put a driver in it. We put a driver in it. Yep. Yeah. It will take some time. It's kind of a slow process. So this is the first step is the letter of intent. And then they will order the van either in December or January. And then the van will be delivered to us between July and December of next year. So we do have some some lay time, but this is the first step in getting that. Okay. Okay. I will make a motion to approve the county veterans affairs to lease a van through VA Health. I will second. Been moved and seconded. Any discussion? 
Carry none. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Now I have is VA quarterly report. Make a motion to approve. I will second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Now I have a change of status. Secondary roads. Don Kelly, effective 72224. It's a new hire for a heavy equipment operator at $25.05. Okay. I will make a motion to approve the change of status for Donald Kelly at Secondary Roads. I will second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Zero five cents. It's still five cents. Yeah. Other than that, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Other business. I got IJAG presentation by Alicia Wesselman. Come on up. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. My name is Elisa Wesselman, and I am the IJ coordinator here um, in South Harden. I wanted to come this morning to talk to you about like our program, what we do, um, and the things that we're hoping to do this year, the things that we've done, kind of where we're going. So last year, um, I served 45 students within the high school um, grades 10, 11, and 12. And my purpose is to connect students to opportunities within the community, but also jobs after high school um, and help them succeed um, in their goals and everything once they've graduated and get them to graduation. So um, we work heavily on community connection. So I see Daryl is in the room. We had some kids um, up at the courthouse doing a little bit of job shadowing. We had kids job shadow at the vet here in town. We've had kids job shadow at Anderson Family Dentistry. Um, and we've had a lot of success and stuff with that. We've had students learn that. This is Wesselman, I wanna be a vet tech and then go into surgery and be like, this is awesome and I don't want to be a vet tech. Perfect, you know? So finding the things that they want to do and that they're passionate about are just as important as the things that they realize that maybe that's not what they want to do. Um, so we work on job shadows, internships, apprenticeships, stuff like that. I currently have a student who is in a paid internship through Alliant Energy, Dax Thompson. Um, he went and did an Alliant Energy Basics course this year, um, along with two other peers, and he was selected uh, for a paid internship. So he's currently fulfilling that through Alliant Energy up in Iowa Falls. He really, really enjoys it. Uh, we created, and I found a way to a, a pathway to a CDL for our high schoolers, which is really important um, because we got a lot of farm kids. Um, but necessarily, those kids don't need to sit in a community college setting, pay thousands and thousands of dollars, wait weeks and weeks and weeks, and we have kids who are already behind at 18. We learn they know what to do. So uh, Clay Raska kind of pioneered that for us. Um, and we found a, a pathway to um, expedite that process. And he became certified uh, with the CDL back in February. He's currently driving truck, hauling grain since he's graduated. Um, and I have two students uh, that'll start that process in the fall, Caden uh, and Chase. And that's just basically um, where their age is. So that'll come as we go. I've had four girls this summer um, just have to take their boards down. They will be licensed CNAs. Um, so we're working on pathways to that. Um, we also, I'm working on phlebotomy, uh, a bunch of different things that we can get our students and for free. Um, Cost is a lot of things when you live in a rural community sometimes, sometimes that's a barrier. Uh, so I work on that as well. And during the day, I function as a, a typical normal teacher. I have a classroom. Um, and this year, uh, our capacity is 60, but we have 68 students signed up. And um, that's after having to uh, uh, forego probably about 40 applicants. So we've had well over 100 of our students within the high school say, this is what I wanna do. I, I wanna try this and see where this can take me. Um, so we've had a lot of a lot of success. We have 100% program fulfillment. Last year, 
um, of my 10 students that graduated, we had um, over $700,000 in scholarship money be awarded to just those students, which includes three full ride scholarships, one to Wash U University in Missouri, one to Simpson College here um, in Iowa, and one to the University of Iowa. And so I'm really proud of that. I have other students who have decided college isn't for them and they're out just working in the world and that's great. Um, so, you know, we're doing really, really great things and we are going to continue to push, um, go out and help our community members. We're going to help at the dog park this uh, September, uh, plant trees with Sue Kramer. Um, and the kids will go out and continue to um, benefit from their community. And I want the community to see that they can benefit from having these young people and opening up the doors to their establishments, employment, um, anything like that, to show them that there's a reason to stay in Hardin County or come back to Hardin County. Uh, you know, as a, as a community, we want to grow and we want to develop our community. Well, that oftentimes takes young people and their families. And so, um, you know, sometimes... We, there's nothing to do in Hardin County. We're more than just the detention center here. The detention center is great, but our students need to know that there are opportunities and that there are people that are willing to invest in them. And so my focus this year is going to be connecting with the adults in the community and really bringing them into our classroom and our students out to show them the opportunities that are available. Um, so we've had, last year we had 41 employer engagements, which means either our students were out of the classroom or we had employers in the classroom. Um, and that includes like uh, Representative Meggers and uh, Senator Sweeney came in and they were working on civic awareness type stuff with our students. Um, we were working on budgeting. We were uh, talking about paying taxes, you know, all those things that students need to learn in a life skills class. Um, that's kind of what we do and what we focus on with an integration of uh, career development. And once my students graduate, I work with them for a year post follow-up as well. So um, a student will graduate and then I'll work with that student in a follow-up period of 12 months as well to make sure that they have the support that they need. So. That was a lot in a little bit of time. Uh, does anybody have any questions? First of all, I'd like to say thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yes, it sounds like a wonderful <laughs> program. Yeah, it's really great. I know uh, my kids talk highly of you. Here. I might have both of them next year. So, um, no, it's really great. Uh, the wonderful thing about IJEG is we have the opportunity to tailor to our communities and what we need. So IJIG is a nonprofit that comes in that the school board's like, yep, we want to pay for this person to come in and run this program. So I'm not employed by the school district. Um, I'm employed by IJIG, who the school district hires. And so um, the school board uh, approved three years outright. So we have two years left. And I think this year, though, um, they'll have to be approving the next year because of financials, I think is how it works. I'm not 100% sure. So um, I hope to continue to do work here. Uh, I did work in Iowa Falls <laughs> last year. They chose to cut the program due to funding. Um, but we've had a lot of major success here. And I think in the rural uh, counties and the rural areas, it's so important because this program started in the major cities, but we are just as important and our kids are just as important as any kid in the city. And so, you know, finding that pathway to a CEO finding CNAs. You know, we've got nursing homes in Hubbard, um, here, got them in Iowa, but we got them everywhere. We have to fulfill that need. And so that is kind of my job is connecting those kids to those opportunities. So I look forward to working with more employers this year, hopefully finding more people that are willing to bring young people in, whether paid or unpaid, to see them that experience. Um, but that's kind of, that's me and that's what I do. So I just wanted to come and kind of let you guys know what we're doing and where we're going. Well, I know for a couple of years, we've been uh, trying to promote the CDL program as mm -hmm. some of these classes and not only for these kids to get out. If they don't want to do college, that's fine. If they want to hit the road, they can hit the road. But also we have all, all our uh, cities, our county, our recycling, some of our 2080s that struggle to find CDL drivers. Mm -hmm. So if this is a path that when they graduate, they can hit the road mm -hmm. and start a job right away, yeah. 
And it, it's tough to get insured as an 18 year old also, but through the public jobs, it's probably not as tough. Yeah, and we do, um, actually our two students that are gonna start that in August are also going to be going to welding school as well. Um, so they're gonna do that part-time. And then by the time they're done, they will graduate with a welding diploma which I had a student do last year as well. So we're working on certifications, 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 um, you know, and trying to fulfill those needs, especially in our county. So I, I think it's a really good fit. Yeah. I, I, thought, I thought it was really important that I bring Alita here today. I've worked with her now for mm -hmm. over a year. Yes. Um, you know, lots of times we don't look at our students as our, our workforce and, and they are our emerging workforce and she's able to meet that immediate need and then also with career planning. So I, I've i just been so blown away by the success of this program and the graduation rates and and what these students are attaining that people need to know about this program and, and the wonderful things it's doing for Hardin County and I do applaud her for success. So I enjoy working with her a lot. So we had a lot of fun. I would assume this alliance one would be a journeyman's position. So for him, it's kind of like a, a paid job shadow internship. He is there for five weeks and he does gas electric. There's a third one. Uh, the fourth one was windmills, but they didn't have somebody for that. In the fifth week, he'd pick his favorite spot that he was in and he'd go spend another week in there while still going to pay. Well, the other was HR. Um, and so that was kind of um, just to get the broad overview of what different positions you could do within um, Alliant Energy and within the lineman field trade um, in itself. So that gives kind of a good taste of what you could do within that. Um, I know Dax wants to climb, he wants to climb poles. That's what he wants to do. Um, he's already been accepted to go to lineman school at Sheldon. Uh, he, we did that last year. Um, I help with college prep um, as well, helping kids apply to school, apply to scholarships, getting resumes written, knowing how to write a cover letter, you know, what is a good reference letter, who are good references, we work on all that. And so um, I think that shows through the money that our kids earned last year through scholarships, um, but also, you know, having a junior accepted into a pretty, um, that's a pretty tough program to get into. Um, we're, very, we're very proud of that. And I also have a, a student doing a pharmacy technician program as well. So she'll be a state certified pharmacy tech as well. Proud of that. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, from there, or any other business? I just have one comment. Um, the VA Mobile yeah. Clinic will be here in Eldora on September 24th from about 10 to 3. Um, <clears throat> Serving local veterans here, so that's kind of exciting. Good. Okay. Word out, is any veterans need to see. Good <laughs> luck. Um, any other comments? There are none public comments. Okay. Well, the last thing before adjournment, we have a closed session pursuant to Iowa Code 21.5, subsection 1, subsection C, pending litigation. Renee, yes. would you entertain that motion? Yes, I make a motion to go into closed session. Uh, you want to read it? Code section 21.5. Yes, I will put section 21.5. C. In the location. I am a hurry. I'll second that. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. I have, what time do I have? 919.